Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at High Performance Group's Hot Air Balloon. It is available on their website for $15 and you know it is sort of a specialty sort of thing to fly a hot air balloon. You don't so much fly it as go up and down and hope the wind takes you where you want to go. And so to that end you'll see that I have got the wind direction on here and I'm hoping that this is correct. If it is correct, then this flight from Teterboro to Kennedy is at least sort of possible, potentially. And 18 knots would be a good wind speed to cover this in an hour and a half. So, um, yeah, you might want to have some time on your hands if you want to fly a hot air balloon. Uh, on the bright side, this path would certainly be scenic and give us some ups and downs to work with. We mainly do the up and down part with the hot air balloon. The side to side is all about the wind, as far as I can tell. I have not actually flown a hot air balloon before, so even in a sim, so we are going to find out how this all works. So I get the feeling that it is not capable of cruising at 137 knots. Who knows about the max altitude? That'll have to be tested at some point. Endurance? Uh, it, it's really tough to say. I mean, of course, it does have a burner. It has burner simulation and all that. So eventually, you're going to run out of the propellant to keep the burner going. So then, I mean, I guess there was there is some endurance, but it's tough to say exactly how long it's going to be. And then the range, who knows? It depends on the speed of the wind, right? Um, liveries. We've got these liveries. And mostly... I mean, there's some patriotic ones over here, but uh, mostly I'm just going to stick to the gold stripes, I think. That's a nice uh, sort of regalish pattern, very artistic. Weight and balance, we can carry up to 60 gallons worth of the propellant for the burner, or burners, there's two of them. And we uh, have options for three passengers. I've only got two here, and we're pretty close to the maximum takeoff weight. And you can see that the CG position has nothing to do with how airplanes work. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to be relevant at all. So, with that, let us make sure that the time is a decent time. Okay, so here we are. And at the start, uh, there's only 13 degrees Celsius. And we've got on Celsius, you can change that. There's an aircraft setup thing here. And we can have, let's... Uh, I think Celsius is better if we're going to judge whether we're going to be going up or down based on the temperature. So I'll keep it to Celsius, but there is an option in time reference, clock time format, and fireworks. You can fire off fireworks. We'll get to that. So at the beginning, the balloon is, um, well, it's deflated and rapidly getting worse. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time to load it up as a deflated balloon. But once it does, we can see it in here, very convincing. And I will just use my throttle to increase the burn. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Suddenly started. And we've got two burners there. And past a certain point, both of them go. I think uh, it looks like maybe past 66%. And you can see it's inflating there. So this is all pretty nifty. 54, 55 Celsius. And as far as I can tell at 100 Celsius, because I've already tried this obviously, I mean, uh, I couldn't resist checking it out first to make sure everything worked. But at 100 Celsius is when you start going up. I have not landed it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to get to that. We'll see. The little thing here has a uh, map app. So that's not seeming to... Uh, okay, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, 96. We started to get off of the runway there and starting to skid over to this side. Sure, it is totally safe. And up we go. External view. 
All right. Well, the wind has definitely carried us into a specific orientation. I think the center of gravity that they had probably probably is meant to make sure that we orient this direction forward. And that is helpful. Uh, I can't read the map right now because of the glare, but we're going up and I've, I've basically turned the burner off and we are floating. We'll keep going higher until it hits about 100 Celsius and then we'll start going down. But yeah, fireworks. Uh, if you can see right over here, the pickup firework, if you click over there with your cursor, you sort of have picked up the firework, not with the cursor, the cursor is still free. Uh, it's sort of attached to your body somehow. And then if you click the base of the firework, basically where it says launch, you can light it and it takes a little bit of time. So I don't know, this is the closest thing to munitions that we have in the game. I don't know where it went. Oh. Oh, I think it went low. Huh. Let me try another one. Where are they? Oh, there we go. The thing is, this is blocking the view of it. Okay, let me try over here. Oh, our direction is changing. We have no control over this. Okay. Oh, there we go. A little bit of delay in the sound, too. Okay, so where are we going? Well, we're, we seem to be going north... northeast instead of... instead of southeast. I'm a balloon. Okay, but it's sort of changing. It's about 12 kilometers per hour, which is much slower than was advertised. So it doesn't look like we've got the kind of wind I was hoping for. And we're sort of going the wrong way. Let's check that we are going with the wind. Let's get an uh, independent opinion on which way the wind is blowing. Yeah, it would seem so. Five knots translates to about 10 kilometers per hour. I was hoping for that 18 knot wind that the map showed, but I guess it was lying to me. We really need to make sure that the map tells the truth if we're gonna do anything with this. So, as you can see, without having the burner on much at all, it just continues to float a while. But we are starting to descend now at 93 Celsius, so we could descend a bit. We seem to be clearing everything. But this is probably best for sightseeing in a fairly dense location, like back there. <laughs> like back there. Certainly relaxing. If you're listening to something else, like an audiobook or something. So one recommendation might be pad anti-glare, but I guess if we zoom in to this level we can see it. This is the slowest I could have imagined that we would go. Oh, another thing would be wonderful if we could add little games into the <laughs> That's asking a lot. They got Flappy Bird here, apparently. I don't know. Or some form thereof. I don't even know. I have never played this before. Tapping, huh? Okay. Well, it's sort of like flying the balloon, actually, in a way. It's good practice. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, no. Should have started at Newark. You know what? Darn it. Let me try and start at Newark and see if that gets us over Manhattan. And we could go either to LaGuardia or... I mean, we don't have to land at an airport or anything. 
you could just find an open field. Not that there are too many of those. A landing in Central Park would be good. Landing in Central Park would be a good idea. Actually, much like the Flappy Bird thing, if you could really get your accuracy right, you could potentially land in the middle of a stadium. And that would be very impressive with a hot air balloon like this. Okay, and I'm gonna wait for the balloon to deflate properly. You can see it's sort of pretending to be inflated, but it's not inflated. Because the temperature is too low for that. And here it comes down. Maybe instead of skidding on the ground, it'd be a good idea once we get some minor lift to just burn a little bit faster. Well, that didn't work out very well. We only ascend slowly no matter what. But it looks like it's the same sort of 60 degree wind. And this time... Maybe that'll carry us to Manhattan. Oh, that uh, 144 degrees Celsius is probably more than I wanted. There is also a uh, a thing to release. Uh, there's this rope here, valve closed. We do valve open. That dumps the temperature in the envelope. We, we can sort of see airliners coming in like this and get in their way. Hello. French B. Well, I mean, if you want to spot airliners coming into a airport, I guess being a balloon isn't too bad, considering we don't actually get in their way. Combined with that... Uh, AI uh, live traffic free plugin. This could be very interesting. I wonder if the in game ATC reads us as an obstruction and tells everybody to go around or something. Okay, well, here comes another one. Uh, it's possible. Is that that doesn't look like a United livery, is it? Oh, that's a generic livery, though. Okay, well, we're sort of ambling along here. And we're at about 400 feet. And we're looking like this. How far are we from the airport? Well, it's back there. You can sort of see it. <laughs> we haven't covered too much distance over here. Well, wherever you fly this, you had better have good scenery. It'd be a heck of a thing to cross the country in this. Waiting for the right winds. But you have to have a way to check that the winds are okay. It'd be an accomplishment though. Crossing Europe might be more doable. I wanted to do that in a glider. With Kinetic Assistant, preferably before they release the official glider patch that's coming up. It seems like a higher altitude, the wind is more easterly, so I'm gonna try and ascend more. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's turning us here. Actually, the page on the on this hot air balloon did mention that. You could take advantage of winds at different altitudes to get you where you're going. And I guess we're sort of doing that right now. Oh no, it's turning back though. Oh yeah, here at a thousand feet, we seem to be going more in the direction I was looking for. Well, that is the longest time I've taken to get to where the ATC said I was leaving their airspace. Well, we have made progress. We will soon be over Hoboken. 
wonder if this little pad will retain charge. It's at 90% charge already. Um, I just saw it drop a percent. Apparently it's got a limited charge too. Try to hold at about a thousand feet. Let me take a look at what the fuel situation is. Well, we've used some, that's for sure. But not too bad. Probably used about 6-7% overall. I say not too bad, but this is not going long distances. Not without a lot more wind. Okay, we are about to make our way across the Hudson finally. And we've got Hoboken below us. Okay, well, I sort of want to go over Manhattan a little bit lower at this point. So let me release some of that and try to descend, though I might not descend in time. Technically, we're still sort of over the Hudson right now. We are going somewhat faster now, 29 kilometers per hour. I don't mind the Celsius for the temperature, but I could have done with maybe having different units for the speed. Hopefully we continue sort of in on this course. Well, yeah, I mean, we should be off to the side of the Empire State Building, right? Well, you can definitely see all the details at leisure. Doing a manual cache of Manhattan certainly helps. Though, we're certainly giving the graphics enough time to load, we're not rushing the graphics at all. This is sort of an ideal view right now. Well, I think we are safely clear of any obvious obstacles that we could be forced into by the wind, so as long as we don't go lower, we should be fine. Now, nice little swing by of the Empire State Building. And we're currently aimed for LaGuardia. So maybe that's the place to go. Well, I've been quite a long flight in this hot air balloon. Well, there's our hot air balloon next to the Empire State Building. That's as far as I can zoom out. Well, at least the bridges over here look better. And I can see LaGuardia over there. Okay, leaving Manhattan behind. Bye bye Manhattan. We definitely need to go further north here. 82 degrees is no good. Let me see if lower down things are better. Oh no, wind is pushing me eastward. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, we were doing better. Come on, don't don't push me that way. Uh okay, okay, go up, go up. Maybe it's because we were down here. Uh, maybe seven hundred to a thousand feet it's better. Still don't know if I can hit LaGuardia, but well, it's right there. I feel like this brings to mind a Top Gear or a Grand Tour episode where they caused a whole lot of airspace disruption because they were in blimps. Now a full-on airship would be a whole other thing too. With fancy cabin that you could walk around. <laughs> Again, asking for too much. I really wish there was something that could push me a little bit more northward. 
We're so close. Guardia's right there. Come on. Yes. Yes, swing that way. Okay, well, okay, it's going... But we have to descend, so what can I do? Uh, can we go that way more? I'll take the road if necessary. I feel like sometimes burning or releasing the gas turns us a certain way, but... Not sure. It's always the wrong way, though. Well, let's try and level out here for the time being, since this is definitely pointing in the right direction right now. Oop, 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 oop. That's fine too, uh, but the cone of acceptable headings is actually pretty narrow. Well, I've definitely tried my best to somehow steer this balloon by picking my altitude and finding the winds that might be the best, but I don't think I'm actually actually going to get to LaGuardia per se. But there doesn't seem to be any cars on the road down there. So that's a plus. Well, maybe we'll catch a favorable wind over here at the last minute. Almost lined up, actually, with the runway. <laughs> we are descending. Hopefully judiciously. I mean, obviously, when we go lower, we're going to face different winds. Really don't want to land in the trees, either. What's up with this road below us? Did nobody map it for AI traffic? Problem is, once we hit the ground, we'll probably skid a bit. And that might bring us to positions that I was not intending. Uh, but that, yeah, definitely trees. <laughs> on top of that, that's the parking structure right there, right? Can we land on top of it, you suppose? Oh, well, my altimeter is not real cal calibrated either. That's not helpful. I mean, it's got to be technically part of LaGuardia, right? Okay. Uh, 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 oh! Okay. I guess the bottom of the basket's really sticky. Alright, well I've opened the valve so it should just sort of deflate at this point. Well, I claim that we made it from Newark International to LaGuardia here. And I think there's the parking garage of La uh, parking garage of LaGuardia, the tower's right there, which is darn impressive, let me tell you. Uh, if you would care to try to navigate with this thing, I encourage you to do so. Uh, it is not easy at all to try and hit any sort of target. Okay, at lower than 40 degrees Celsius, it starts to sort of convulse like that, like it's breathing. And then just sort of flop. So it gives you a warning with the breathing thing, but by 33 degrees Celsius it'll flop. Alright, yep. Well, that's, that's like parking right there. So with that, I think I'll leave it here for the High Performance Group's Hot Air Balloon. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.